What is creation? This is the 11th special thought in part two of A Course in Miracles. And we are in the 11th month. We are in November, if you're following um, The Course in Miracles according to the calendar year. And November in the Northern Hemisphere is about purging, it's about letting go, it's about preparing for December where you actually sink in and you start tonifying all the things which you have learned, where you, where you start incorporating them, sinking them deep within you. And that will, that will happen in December. So right now we are like letting go of the last silly ideas which are not bringing, in, bringing us nowhere. And according to Qigong. And so it will be interesting to see what the special thought, what is creation brings to us. Welcome to the Qigong support for A Course in Miracles students. My name is Judith and this is part of the Lucid Mind Center, a virtual center for retraining the mind, which I started back in 2010, 2011, after I finished the first round of A Course in Miracles. The reason why this is called Qigong support is because for each one of the, the Course in Miracle lessons I have recorded a Qigong class. In the beginning it was one Qigong class for each lesson and later on I split them up so I have got many Qigong classes which you can apply to really any of the Course in Miracle lessons. And at the end of each one of the lessons I guide you to a Qigong class which is going to help you internalize and understand this lesson better. So let's read our special thought together and I will give you more instructions at the end. What is creation? Creation is the sum of all God's thoughts in number infinite and everywhere without all limit. Only love creates and only like itself. There was no time when all that it created was not there. Nor will there be a time when anything that it created suffers any pain. Forever and forever are God's thoughts exactly as they were and as they are unchanged through time and after time is done. I have to read this again. Creation is the sum of all God's thoughts in number infinite and everywhere without all limit. Every thought of God, that means that everything which you can see here created, everything which has got the life force energy within it, this is a thought of God. And this is an answer to our ego thoughts. We have got, we have got the creative power of God. God gave us his creative power. And we can choose to create with him or we can choose to create in darkness. Make things in darkness. Creation is the sum of all, all God's thoughts in number infinite and everywhere without all limit. That means you are sitting in the thought of God. Only love creates. That means you are love. That means God is love. Only love creates and only like itself. There was no time when all that it created, there was no time when all that love created was not there. You could also say there was no time when all that God created was not there. Nor will there be a time when anything that it, it with a capital I, that means love, light, God, the universal intelligence created suffers any pain. Forever and forever are God's thoughts exactly as they were and as they are unchanged through time and after time is done. God's thoughts are given all the power that their own creator has. For he would add to love by its extension. For he would add to love by its extension. That means when you are adding to love, love extends. In the Qigong, there is two symbols for that love. One is the fire in the five element cycle. The fire stands oh. for, for expansion and for compassion. It is, it is, it is associated with the heart and unconditional love it's, is, its, is its virtue. 
unconditional love, patience, compassion. And the negative emotion is impatience, hatred, the unwillingness to love and the un unwillingness to be loved. And the other a synonym for that light is Shen, which is the mind and spirit. In Chinese, the word Shen means both mind and spirit. And the Shen, they say, belongs to the universe, to the universal creator. And if the person, if the, if the person is not healthy and not happy, the Shen, the, the spirit cannot root within the, within the body. That's why they're working constantly on the central channel and, and undoing all those negative emotions. So the light, the Shen can root in the body. It can root in the awareness. And it's not about the body really, it's about the awareness of self. So if your awareness of self is occupying the same space as your body, you think you are the body. But what you want to do is you want to um, bring the awareness of Christ, the awareness of God, the awareness of love itself. You want to bring it into that space which you are calling yourself, myself. You see? God's thoughts are given all the power that their own Creator has, for He would add to love by its extension. Thus His Son shares in creation and must therefore share in power to create. What God has willed be forever one will still be one when time is over and will not be changed throughout the course of time, remaining as it was before the thought of time began. Creation is the opposite of all illusions, for creation is the truth. Creation is the Holy Son of God, for in creation, in His will, complete in every aspect, making every part container of the whole. Let's read this one more time. Creation is the opposite of all illusions, for creation is the truth. Creation is the Holy Son of God, for in creation is His will complete in every aspect, making every part container of the whole. That means it's like a hologram. You are the Holy Son of God and you are like a hologram expressing the whole within you when you actually return to the awareness of self when you claim this space which you can feel if you just feel into it you can feel a space you can feel this mm, this is me well that space you want to claim and say i am the holy son of god and my body is my tool is my vehicle which is going to help help me take on my purpose, which we have learned in the previous lessons. Creation is the opposite of all illusions, for creation is the truth. Creation is the Holy Son of God, for in creation is His will complete in every aspect, making every part container of the whole. Its oneness is forever guaranteed, inviolate, forever held, within His holy will, beyond all possibility of harm, of separation, imperfection, and of any spot upon its sinlessness. We are creation, we the sons of God. We seem to be discreet and unaware of our eternal unity with Him, yet back of all our doubts, behind all our doubts, past all our fears, there still is certainty. And this certainty is deep within your awareness of self. And the awareness of self, if you kind of observe your body, that awareness of self, which is the furthest away from you, is your gut. It is not your toes. Then you can get close. But what is, seems to be the furthest away, because it's the furthest away from your head in a way, is your gut. And this is the center of your body. This is where you want to sink back in. And you have practiced this with me a lot if you have been together with me. And if you are totally new, come and practice Qigong with me. Qigong for A Course in Miracles students. We seem to be discreet and unaware of our eternal unity with Him. Yet back of all our doubts, past all our fears, there still is certainty 
for love remains with all its thoughts, its sureness being theirs. God's memory is in our holy mind, which know their oneness and their unity with their Creator. Let our function be only to let His memory return, only to let, let God's will be done on earth. Let our function be only to let His memory return, only to let God's will be done on earth, only to be restored to sanity and to be but as God created us. Our Father calls to us. We hear His voice and we forgive creation in the name of its Creator. Holiness itself, whose holiness His own creation shares, whose holiness is still part of us. Our Father calls to us. This right now, this right here is a call to us. And we, we were lucky enough to receive this book to, for, for Helen Schuchman to be prepared through generations, her body to be prepared, her parents to be prepared to bring her up, the society around her, to bring her up in a certain way that she was ready to receive the word of Christ, the word of God. God's memory is in our holy minds, which know their oneness and their unity with their Creator. Let our function be only to let, to let this memory return, only to let God's will be done on earth, only to be restored to sanity and to be but as God created us. Our Father calls to us. We hear His voice and we forgive creation in the name of its Creator, holiness itself, whose holiness His own creation shares, whose holiness is still a part of us. Absolutely beautiful. So this is going to be an interesting 10 day together with you. And I hope you come a few times to read this together. Remember that the, in the instructions to, to this uh, part two, it reminds us that we should be reading every day the special thought of each section. And it also reminds us that we sh should spend at least 15 minutes in the morning and 15 minutes in the evening dedicating um, our awareness to the idea of the day, to the idea of each day. So here you have all the different links for this particular section and see you in the next lesson.